My dear elegant ladies, there are some really awful things that ladies wear during fall season. As soon as those leaves, they fall, the green turns orange, then why on earth do women pull these clothes out? I don't know. But I'm gonna do you a favor and I'm gonna share with you what those clothes are because I really don't want to see you in fall wearing this. And if this is the first time you are here on this channel, then don't forget to click that red button called the subscribe button because otherwise you're gonna miss out on my videos that I release every Sunday. Let's start with number one. The boot with a skinny jean. And this is probably one of the most basic looks that we have in the fall and probably one of the most common ones. So we have the very common called Chelsea boots or you can even call it just regular booties with a bit of thicker heel. And this is a typical everyday shoe. And by the way, I'm not dismissing this shoe at all. However, the problem with this boot is that women wear it the wrong way. They love wearing it with like skinny trousers or skinny jeans and that's what makes them look so incredible basic. I think this is probably one of the most common looks that we have seen. Agree? And the thing is, it's not flattering for most body shapes. Truly, you need to have like a supermodel, long, slim legs, tall to be able to actually look good in this look. But most of us, we don't have this type of body shape. So for this reason, we're not gonna look good. We're gonna look pretty basic. Worst is also, I think, the color of the booty because you have a lot of brown, maybe even suede material, and that really downgrades it even more. Like I told you ladies, I am not against this shoe. In fact, I have booties like this myself. However, I wear them under trousers. I would never just, you know, pair them together with some, uh, some skinny jean, uh, as you can see here. And the thing is that, what really also happens in this case is that it really cuts the leg off, ladies. So I don't want you to wear this. You're gonna look short. You're gonna look broader than you are. You're gonna look like, I don't know, you tucked your sausage legs into some booties. Number two, the teddy coat. Or should we just call it the morning robe? Because <laughs> literally that's how I sometimes feel like it looks like. It looks like, you know, you just woke up, you, you know, you put your morning robe on and you're just gonna brush your teeth. This coat is so not flattering for anyone, especially not if you are petite, especially not if you are not skinny. Again, skinny women, they can really get away with a lot of things, but us with regular bodies, we cannot. What the teddy coat does is that it actually widens you because it doesn't have a shape, it's very straight, it's very boxy. Plus the really thick material of it, it really like bulks you up and I don't know anyone who looks good in that, nobody. You look broader, you look bigger, you look masculine and you lose your shape. So if you want to get a coat for fall, then definitely get one that has more of a feminine shape. Maybe it has a belt, maybe it has a defined waist, whatever. If you don't want to go the feminine route, at least get something a little bit more sleek with a thinner material so that you don't look, you know, like the Michelin man or something like that. Number three. Anything cargo style. And the thing is that I don't mind a little bit of cargo for the right occasion. Well, you know, look at Kate Middleton as an example. She does wear cargo and it works perfectly fine for her, but she would only wear it for the right activity. Not when she's, you know, living her everyday life in town, trying to look elegant or representable. And unfortunately, ladies, they turn to cargo in fall. I don't know why. Could it be because of the color? They want to go a little bit more green, a little bit more rustic, you know, you know, fall colors. They tend to be more cocky style, green, brownish, all those things more earthy so for this reason the cargo appears but it doesn't really upgrade a look instead it looks really casual it looks very like you know I, I couldn't really care less what I'm wearing today I'm just throwing something on and um, well you know I just don't think that a cargo jacket as an example when you are going I don't know out in town or you're going for a coffee 
I don't think that's just suitable. If you are here on this channel, you probably want to elevate yourself. You probably want to stand out in a positive way where you look more expensive than the average person, where you look more elevated than the average person. So of course you shouldn't be choosing something like a cargo jacket. Why not wear a nice blazer instead? Or I don't know, a nice structured coat. You see, when we see Kate Middleton wear the cargo style, it's always when she's like on the countryside or where she's doing some form of more rustic activity. And this is really where you should be taking notes because you should be looking appropriate for the activity that you're doing. That's a massive secret that I'm sharing with you. Oh, and by the way, I have so many more secrets that I wanna share with you on the subject of what's not elegant and what you should not be doing. And you know, I have created this free workshop called 10 Brutal Mistakes That Show You're Not Elegant and How to Fix These Mistakes. And ladies, I'm inviting you to this workshop. It's absolutely free, it's brand new, and you go to 10elegantmistakes.com to register. And ladies, you're gonna really love this one, especially if you like this video. See you there. Number four, open toe sandals is not appropriate ladies in fall or winter season. Now I'm a lady who likes to break a little bit of rules sometimes. Let me tell you, as an example, I wear white all year round. I don't follow some traditional old school rules and it's okay to sometimes create your own rules. However, ladies, if there is one rule that, no, just no, <laughs> that we are not breaking, and that is wearing open toe shoes in fall and winter. It's just not appropriate, it's not elegant, and it's also a bit too cold, you know? Uh, it kind of looks weird, to tell you the truth. Now, of course, there are going to be exceptions. There's always exceptions with most rules out there. Let's say you're wearing an evening gown where wearing a pair of pumps or closed shoes with this gown would just not make sense and look weird. And the event is in the fall or winter month. So of course there will be exceptions where you maybe have to wear a sandal even though it's the wrong time of the year. And ladies, that's absolutely fine. But we're talking now generally speaking. You should already have put away all of your sandals, open toe shoes, etc. And please be aware that peep toe shoes actually um, is kind of qualified as a closed shoe. So you don't have to store those away. Those are still fine to wear during winter months. Number five, the heavy knit scarf, the really big bulky one, you know, like when you almost have, I don't know, like a donut around you. <laughs> you know, ladies, I don't mind to have a really nice cozy scarf in winter. In fact, I mean, come and visit me in Sweden when it's like minus 20 five Celsius degrees and you're gonna be you want to have one of those let me tell you but there is something about the really heavy knit as you can see in these pictures that I feel looks very plain Jane you want to think about if you want to have a really you know nice warming scarf that it's not in this type of material you want it to maybe be of a different fabric maybe you want to have more I don't know a different type of texture. You just don't want to have like those big knits. I don't know, there's nothing expensive looking about them. I can't really define why. It's just the way it is. Sometimes um, you can definitely go for like a big nice cashmere scarf. I think that could be quite nice. But you know, you don't even have to spend a lot of money to have a nice decent looking scarf. However, this one is a no-go unfortunately, ladies. So, okay, try to skip it. Number six, and we continue to Plain Jane land. And uh, you know, I, I know this land very well because I myself have been there and um, I share about this in my workshop, by the way. So don't forget to go to 10elegancemistakes.com and register for this workshop because I will be talking a lot about it there. But yes, I used to be a Plain Jane, you know, all those things, which is why I'm teaching all these things in order to, you know, I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to upgrade myself. I want to be a different person, more, you know, elevated person, more elegant, refined, all of those things, which is why, you know, I have this channel here <laughs> and now helping you achieve the same thing. And the thing is that there are some very stereotypical outfits that the typical plain Jane would wear. And this outfit <laughs> is one of those things. So, ba -ba -ba -ba! <sighs> the leggings with the high boots. I mean, yeah, what can you say? It's just, uh, 
you know, I mean, for sure I have worn this as well myself. So that's the thing, you know, this ladies symbolizes, I don't care, who cares, whatever. I can't be bothered, I'm lazy. Or also it can mean, of course, that, you know, I like these things and I'm, I'm choosing to wear this even if, uh, you know, it's not elegant, I don't care. Okay, that's fine. But for us <laughs> who want to be more elegant, then we cannot go this direction, ladies. We really, really cannot. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry, I don't even have comments on this look. I don't think that's a nice look. Certainly not an elegant look. And um, I think for your personal brand, if you are cautious about it, then uh, you have to move away from this type of thing because this is just, no, no, no. Number seven. Ladies, do not wear plaid shirts. And you see, plaid it can be fine on some garments. And especially, you know, in, in the UK, you know, you go to Scotland. Plaid is, is very traditional and, and very chic and very elegant, of course. But if you take that plaid and put it on some oversized sloppy shirt, then no, that's no longer elegant. That looks very, I don't know, downgraded. It looks very masculine. Again, it looks like you don't care. But what's really surprising me is that if you go on Pinterest and you type, okay, fall outfits inspo or something, and you get all these pictures with all these plaid shirts, and of course, some of these ankle boots too that I spoke about earlier and other things, and you're going to see how many women pull out the plaid shirt just because it's fall. And no, ladies, I don't want you to pull it out. It's not going to elevate you. It's going to downgrade you and you are going to look more masculine. So stay away. Number eight, black tights. Let's talk about black tights. But black tights is fine. So don't, don't start getting, you know, <gasps> What is she saying? What am I gonna wear if I can't wear black tights? And of course, ladies, you can wear black tights in winter. That's not the case here. But it's what you wear those black tights with and how you combine it and with what colors and how you style it. And unfortunately, many women get this wrong. So number eight is all about, okay, black tights worn with shorts of uh, contrasting color is no bueno, okay? First of all, I need to warn you is that wearing tights with shorts is not necessarily going to suit everyone, okay? So that's one thing. So just because I say that you can potentially wear it doesn't mean now everyone can wear it, no. I think you need to really have a body type that suits it. But what I really see wrong here is as an example, who would wear black tights with blue, you know, blue jean shorts? I mean, doesn't make sense to me, you know? Contrasting color on black ties does not look good. Okay, if it's um, a little bit contrasting, let's say, I don't know, dark gray uh, shorts with black um, tights, okay, that's fine because you're pretty much in the same region color-wise. But contrasting color, no. It looks weird and it doesn't look flattering either because black tights with you know dark shorts at least it will be a kind of a monochrome effect and it will kind of elongate everything but when there is a contrasting color it breaks it off and you actually look shorter but be very very careful I think shorts in general during fall and winter, not always going to look elegant, but some can pull it off depending on the shorts, depending on the body type, how you style it, how you wear it. Of course, it all depends on all these different attributes. Just be careful and just think about what I just said. Number nine, and let's continue with the black tight conversation. And the black tight with the black ballerina shoe is something that I really remember from my London days. Pretty much every lady out there, especially if she works in an office and commutes in the morning, she will be wearing the black tight and the black ballerina shoe. And you know what? I don't mind it. And actually, I like to wear it myself. It's one of my go-to looks in fall and winter, why? Because black ballerina shoe together with black tights really elongates uh, your leg because it's monochrome. Uh, black generally minimizes, so you look like you have much longer legs. However, what we need to talk about is when ladies wear black tights with contrasting color footwear. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not where we want to go. We don't want to wear, you know, this. What is this? Ladies, 
Don't wear black tights with now, I don't know, beige shoes or I don't know, red or pink, whatever color you have. Either if it's with a ballerina or a heel, you just, you know, black tights goes with black for shoes, okay? That's fine, but the rest, no. It will look strange, okay? Trust me. Now last ladies, but of course not least, number 10, the oversized knitted, you know, sweater dress. And the thing is that I don't mind this look whatsoever. So this look is approved by me as long as the dress is long enough. And I've seen some really, you know, horror examples of ladies wearing like, probably it's just, you know, a regular knitted jumper <laughs> and it's kind of not long enough to be qualified as a dress and they wear it as a dress and it looks ridiculous and it's also cold outside and they're walking around like that and you're just thinking to yourself like she's gonna get a bladder infection don't do this <laughs> why are you walking like this you're gonna get cold Please ladies, if you are going to do this look, really make sure it's long enough and maybe if you can wear, you know, something underneath that is a bit warming because, you know, Auntie Anna is gonna be worried for you. <laughs> so please ladies, be mindful of the length. In my next video, ladies, I'm going to spill the tea on what you should be wearing in fall because I know, now we know what not to wear, but what should we be wearing? Hop on over to that video because there you will get all of the answers. I will see you there.